Hello! Before I start, I need to give some context for this video, otherwise none of this will make any sense. This is going to be a little different compared to my other stuff on the channel, and that's because I will be looking at Shaco from League of Legends and giving him a visual update. The primary focus is to fit him into a region in Runeterra, because that's my biggest problem with this champion. He doesn't look terrible, but he lacks any defining features that gives him context to what he is or where he belongs for that matter. And what he actually is, no one really knows, and despite being a popular champion, his lore is almost non-existent. In Riot's defense, he was released back in 2009, and has always been the throwaway clown character for the entirety of the game, but I love this champion and I play him in all my ranked games as a support, so here we go. I started this project by creating some rough exploration sketches. I wanted to illustrate his gameplay rather than his lore because I'm sure he'll receive a lore update in the future. As of now, Shaco, the so-called demon jester, is a doll brought to life through dark magic. That is his entire story, and despite being called a demon jester, he is not an actual demon like Fiddlesticks. And speaking of Fiddlesticks, he has the exact same concept but a thousand times done better because Fiddlesticks is an actual demon that up to here is barely functioning a terrifying puppet. And let's not forget about Gwen, who is also a former doll that came to life. There are honestly way too many dolls at this point in the lore, so just change Shaco's lore. I eventually followed up with a design I liked. In the end, I decided to make him Nionian because he's primarily an assassin that relies on crude constructions. That's one of the few things we do know about him. Shaco doesn't actually use magic, even his ultimate clone ability is called Hallucinate. He doesn't actually create a real clone, in reality he most likely just threw a poison shiv at his target, inducing some sort of psychosis. I also gave him a long wooden prosthetic can similar to Jin, and a bow and basket to keep all his gear in. This is all to beat home the idea that he relies on various contraptions. I then got to work on a presentable detailed look and a splash art. I also cleaned up my previous exploration sketches for this guy. And that's about it, I'll let this play out because this was a really fun project.